In this video, we're going to have a quick look at a paper that I've been testing on this, the Epson P5300. Now, the Epson P5300 is the same ink set and print head as the P900-700. Um, I'll be doing a short video about the making of the actual image I'm printing now. It's a black and white print, but um, this is just looking at Epson's P5300 with Hannah Mueller's bamboo gloss burrata paper. Now, it's a paper base based mostly on bamboo fiber and it's a glossy, slight shiny-ish surface. Now, it's a black and white test print I did when I've been doing the profiling for this. And uh, my profiles, once I do the 5300 review here, uh, all the profiles I make will be available for if, you know, if you contact me for non-commercial use. Um, now this particular one, black and white image, it's got the paper, it's thick, it's 0.47 of a millimetre thick. So uh, there are issues of considering whether you want to make a custom media setting for this, for, for using this, but that's, uh, that's another matter. I've program, uh, profiled this using the Epson Premium Luster Photo Paper 260 setting. Now it's printing out, this is quite a big print, so it'll take a, take a few minutes, but um, in testing black and white, I found there's virtually no tone on it. Uh, this is printed at the 1440 high quality setting uh, using the Epson ABW mode. The ABW mode on this particular paper with this printer needs no adjustment, so you can print as is for a neutral uh, black and white. Now, there may be some slight color under the lighting here. I got mixed LED lighting. Always a problem with black and white, you can never be entirely certain. but uh, there is no obvious bronzing. Now I printed this at the uh, Superphoto 5760 setting, which is the next one up with the, you know, the black optimizer on it. Um, there's no significant difference and it takes a lot longer to print. I'm going to say that unless you have very specific needs and people are going to be using you know, magnifying glasses and the likes, and looking at stuff really close, you're not going to notice the difference between the 14, uh, 1440 high quality setting and the 5760. It's the same as I found for the um, Epson P900, P700. And that's also why I know that sending additional print resolution above 300 yeah, or 360 pixels per inch which is the normal people say ah oh, that's the standard setting if you've got more detail in your image send it now this particular image because the way i made it is currently printing i think it could take a while to process. I'm, I'm running this from a computer upstairs um my laptop would not appreciate the size of this image i've scaled it so it, this is printing at about 700 pixels per inch now of course the printer can't manage that but the driver will make use of the detail but i'll cover some of that in considerations when i do a video about the actual making of this this print that's coming out so Black and white, it works. It has a texture to the surface, but it is glossy. And um, it's one of those bits that if I move it around, hopefully you can get a feel for the gloss of the image and the tonality of it as well. Now, obviously black and white color. Um, I printed this particular image. This is one of my commercial images. Um, and I printed this. I took this photo for a semiconductor company for an advertising campaign of this. And they are gummy bears and the detail on it. Now, the colors in these are seriously out of gamut for uh, almost any printing, particularly this red here. Now, I used it partly to check how well it prints color on this paper, and it's very good, but also to have a look at rendering intents. Now, this particular one is printed using um, a less commonly used, the saturation rendering intent. Now, if you look at your soft proofing and change rendering intents in, in an image, um, you will see uh, different ways some bright colors are covered. Now I can see a very small amount of some banding on here, the colors, but these colors are way beyond the gamut of what can normally be printed. Um, but the reds here are very good, blues, greens, yellows, orange, the colors work very well. Um, 
it's a nice paper. Now, would I use it? What would I use it for? Well, um, I might personally, if I'm going to have a shiny finish to a paper like this, I might want something but with slightly less texture. Now, for an image like this, uh, it doesn't really matter. People aren't going to be looking at the texture. They're going to see the colors. They're going to see the content and whatever. Uh, similarly, for the black and white one here, uh, the content doesn't intrude. Um, the image I've got coming out here, which is a print of a waterfall, and it's telling me that it's still going to take six or seven minutes. Um, this particular image, I think a bit of texture does help with it. Why is that? Well, um, First of all, this image, which I'm printing at uh, 16 inches, um, I think, sorry, 17 inches by 34 inches, is a section of an 11 megapixel image. Now, that's why I'm going to do another review, another video looking at the, the actual making of this, the actual creation of this image. Uh, a slight bit of texture in the paper helps. This is about eight megapixels, and I, I've actually produced the image that could be produced at three foot by six foot, and it is vast. Now, not all images, even though software is very good, and I used uh, Topaz Gigapixel AI for the scaling, uh, amongst other software for this, not all images have the kind of detail which scales well. This has things like trees, rocks, stuff, and, and that sort of image, AI software scales very well. Uh, in, a, in a way, I mean, obviously it doesn't know anything, but things like tree detail and that, it's very good at doing that. So this is an eight megapixel image. Um, I originally produced a version of this for um, a local restaurant. They wanted it, it was a, a bigger print than this, about five, six foot high, tall. And I produced this image slightly narrower, and I produced it to go in a stairwell. And they just said, look, we've got a space there. This is where everyone walks into the place. It would be nice just to have a nice long photo. Looked around. This is a crop from one, and this was taken in ooh, 2004, I believe. This is taken on a Canon 1DS, 11 megapixels. So it helped that it was a good lens, uh, EF200, uh, uh, 70-200 2.8LIS lens. Uh, but I've needed to do quite a bit of processing to produce an image which makes a good print. So I can see here as it comes out, I can see you know, an Im a lightly embossed texture on it. Now, I I'll just cut in during this, I'll cut in a few photos of the finish so you can get a better idea of it but it's a nice paper. It's obviously a sort of rag type style fine art paper on the back and it feels some texture here. Um, it's using bamboo fiber. I believe it has probably a bit of cotton. I think it's 90% bamboo or something like that, but it's one of Hannah Miller's new range of papers. I've looked at some of their other natural range papers um, for that have matte finishes and this is one with a, a shiny finish. Anyway, let's see what happens here. So his print nearly done. And um, if you're printing on you know, expensive papers like this, do make sure you've got something to catch the prints when they come out and they're cut, uh, because you really don't want the print bouncing on the floor. There we go. So the print is done. I'm looking at detail in it and it is very nice. Um, there is, and this is where I will just try and line that up just so it shows okay, so you don't get too much reflection, get a nice idea of the size of the print. Now, I know the image works because um, I've exhibited it before, but this is an entirely new version created just for this test uh, using software that when I created the original wasn't a right available. Creating the original image took a lot of work in terms of Photoshop work, uh, sharpening, localized sharpening, various bits of curve adjustments and things. And this is a much simpler process. As I say, I, I will go into it in details, but just looking at the finish, this, because of the bright white 
water here that you've got catching the sunlight. And it's why the picture works, because of the sun angle. I've been back to the place. Uh, it's uh, Fish Creek Falls here near Steamboat Springs. I've been back and without the lighting at the particular angle it was. And this is uh, snowmelt water. Uh, so it's, it's, there's a lot more water in the falls. Without that, you don't get the same energy. Um, a lot of times waterfalls are those things that I go to sit and look at, maybe take a little, few little pictures, but waterfalls in general are very difficult to capture the feeling you get, the power, the water, uh, the water spray and the likes of that. It's possible sometimes, and I've seen some great photos, but I've far more often spent time just sitting and watching a waterfall than I have thinking about how I'm going to get a great photo of it. Sometimes you just have to accept that a great scene doesn't make a great photo. But that one works very well. And in this light, yeah, the, the reflection's not intrusive. The depth of the blacks, it just works. Even things like shadow of the light from the trees casting on the water and picking it up. Um, there's a few tricks involved in the processing to get it, just to give that little bit more life to it. But as a paper, that's a lovely paper to use. Um, and it's a paper that I would happily use for prints to sell. Um, no problem whatsoever with that. That's a nice one. I think that one's gone up on the wall somewhere, which is, in some ways, my biggest accolade is that if I've got a picture that I'm happy to put on the wall, it's done well. Anyway, there you go. Hannah Muller, Natural Line Papers, Bamboo Gloss. Um, I've got a few other uh, Hannah Muller ones to have a look at as well. Uh, we are almost out of my first ink on this one here, so I am waiting for spare inks before I can carry on doing some more stuff. If you found this interesting, please do ask questions. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, please subscribe to the channel. That's appreciated as well. And, um, well, nice picture. Thanks for watching.